Since the cold set in on the Alps and mountain valleys, the new Tesla Model 2 has been attracting attention. On one of those frigid mornings, Tesla teams launched the prototype through snowy curves with thermometers marking 12 atevendrains, then traversed stretches at eighters and zero quote trevery. The conditions were carefully chosen, almost cruel, but essential to prove a point. Can a compact electric car survive the winter without losing its soul? What no one expected was to see the Model 2 emerge from this test with results that challenge the logic of the entire industry. Right from the first few kilometers, it became clear that something unusual was happening with the battery. Even using an LFP pack, traditionally known for its sensitivity to cold, the Model 2 showed a much smaller range loss than expected. On a 250-mile route as a baseline, the drop was between 38 and 42 miles. Nothing negligible, but surprisingly better than the 55 to 70 miles that similar models from competitors typically lose under the same conditions. This seems like a small difference, but for a segment accustomed to radical transformations in the cold, it's almost a quantum leap. With a battery between 48 and 52 kWh, considered modest compared to market giants, its performance in freezing temperatures indicated something beyond luck. There's refined engineering behind it. Tesla, with accumulated knowledge from more sophisticated models, seems to have adjusted the thermal management in a way that extracts energy optimally, even when everything conspires against it. This type of efficiency, with a lean battery and intense cold, shows that range and practicality don't have to be enemies. As the icy, wet streets alternated with glacial climbs, the prototype remained steady. Each turn, each acceleration, each regenerative braking tested the limits of the battery chemistry and the control system. And the car responded consistently. The feeling was that the cold, instead of punishing, served as a dramatic proving ground where the Model 2 consolidated an almost unprecedented level of confidence for a compact electric car. Compared to previous reports of EVs struggling in winter, many electric vehicle owners returned from short trips fearing they would be stranded, as studies have already shown drastic range reductions in cold weather. CNN Brazil Plus 2 Inside EVs Brazil Plus 2, but the Model 2 seemed to challenge that narrative. It wasn't just a matter of surviving the cold, but of maintaining real usability, without surprises in the middle of the snow. It was as if Tesla had slammed its fist on the table showing that electric cars aren't just for mild climates or covered garages. If the test in the harsh winter worked with tangible and measurable results, the impact goes beyond the technical specifications. It changes the perception of those considering adopting an EV in a place where the winter isn't mild. And as the prototype continued to run, with the cold tapping at the doors and an electric silence cutting through the frigid air, the feeling was that this test could redefine an entire category, cheap, compact cars. What was once synonymous with abstinence in winter was now showing signs of a turnaround. If the Model 2's performance in sub-zero temperatures was already surprising, what was under the hood was even more intriguing. During testing, Tesla put two distinct battery chemistries to the test, an optimized LFP and a variant with a silicon anode that looked like something out of a science fiction laboratory. Both were subjected to the same temperature cycles, and the results ended up shaking the confidence of industry giants. What was at stake was not just revenue, but the real possibility of transforming expensive technologies into something accessible to the average driver. The LFP pack, which had a reputation as a winter enemy, gained a new lease on life thanks to a new preheating system inherited directly from the Cybertruck. The thermal logic of the larger model was adapted to the compact one, with a design that redirects heat more intelligently to keep the battery within the ideal operating range. It wasn't a miracle. It was engineering applied with surgical precision. And this detail made all the difference. The battery not only survived, but also performed better than previous versions in freezing conditions. But the icing on the cake was the version equipped with the new silicon anode. 
Anyone who follows the world of EVs knows that silicon promises a lot, but it's temperamental in the cold, expanding and contracting aggressively. However, Tesla seems to have tamed this beast. In temperatures as low as 8 degrees, this version recorded range losses of between 31 and 35 miles. For a car under use $30,000, that's not just great, it's almost historic. There are many cars costing $300,000 out there that don't deliver this consistency. The secret, according to some engineers involved in the tests, lay in the thermal bubble created around the silicon pack, a type of progressive and active insulation that responds in real time to variations in ambient and internal temperature. It may sound too technical, but in practice, it means that the car reacts before losing performance. The battery protects itself before suffering, like an athlete who warms up properly before a marathon. The result, less loss, more confidence, especially for those who live in cold regions. This thermal stability, combined with the energy density of silicon, creates an equation that is hard to beat. Even without official confirmation of large-scale production, the silicon anode model is already being treated as a benchmark in technical forums and behind the scenes of the industry. After all, it combines what was considered incompatible, affordable cost and premium performance in the cold. A combination that until recently seemed improbable outside of theory. While competitors are still struggling to find the balance between cost, performance, and climate, Tesla seems to have moved the clock forward. We're not talking about an oversized prototype, but a vehicle that, if it maintains its numbers in final tests, could be manufactured on a large scale with technologies previously seen only in laboratories. And this affects the entire automotive chain, from the material supplier to the end consumer. The impact of this potential mass adoption of silicon anode technology would be twofold. First, it would push down the average price of efficient EVs. Second, it would force rivals to catch up with similar solutions or fall behind. From here on out, the game will not only be about who has the fastest car, but who delivers the most range and stability in any season. And all this without having to raise the price. The moment of truth for any electric vehicle in extreme weather arrives when it needs to recharge. And there's no pretending this isn't a problem. Cold batteries simply hate charging. Ions move slowly. Systems waste energy just to heat the components. And the result, in most popular models, is a festival of waiting that irritates any driver in a hurry. But the Tesla Model 2 arrived with an unexpected counterattack, and perhaps the smartest of this testing phase, drastically reducing charging time even when the battery freezes. The prototypes were exposed directly to 10 dikulitritaifitalinert and then taken to 130 tlikidwan charging stations to see what would happen. Normally, this type of test is merciless, Cheapest cars can take up to 25 minutes just to start a decent charge. Except Tesla's LFP stabilized charging after only 14 minutes of preconditioning. The silicon anode model took a mere nine minutes. That's time to grab a coffee and come back. It's faster than many premium EVs, which in itself is a punch in the gut for the competition. Anyone who knows about these things understands that the real culprit here is heat, or rather, the lack thereof. When the battery is cold, it needs to be warmed up before charging efficiently, and this usually requires long cycles and considerable energy losses. But the Model 2 seems to have learned from its bigger siblings and brought a thermal logic that prioritizes efficiency without sacrificing time. The engineering that reduces waiting time without drastically increasing consumption is one of the greatest achievements of this testing cycle. This advancement, while technical, has a direct impact on real life. Imagine a user in the middle of a snowstorm in Canada, or someone crossing Norway in the middle of January. Having to wait an extra 30 minutes for a decent charge can be the difference between continuing the trip peacefully or facing a real problem. The fact that the Model 2 cuts this time in half changes the perspective of those who, until now, doubted the practicality of EVs in frigid regions. 
The icing on the cake is that these results came without any magic tricks. There was no installation of futuristic superconductors or experimental laboratory batteries. What was tested is potentially what will be delivered to the consumer. This shows that Tesla is finding solutions in the balance between software, thermal architecture, and already mature components, something that few automakers manage to do well, and almost none in this price range. Another interesting point is how this charging efficiency combines with previous design decisions. The use of a relatively small battery forces the car to utilize every watt with maximum precision. And that's exactly what happens here. It's not just about fast charging, but about charging enough to guarantee more kilometers with less waiting time. The Model 2 is shaping up as a street car prepared for extremes without technological frills. Furthermore, this quick response capability could become a benchmark in future series tests. Rivals like the BYD Dolphin and the Dacia Spring often experience a drop in charging performance in extreme cold, requiring up to 30 minutes to reach usable rates. This simply doesn't hold up when consumers realize that the Model 2 delivers a faster, cleaner, and more predictable solution. In markets with harsh climates, this difference becomes a selling point. Thermal comfort has always been an Achilles' heel for electric cars, especially compact ones. In extreme temperatures, keeping the interior warm can consume as much energy as driving dozens of kilometers. And that's where Tesla's bold move with the Model 2 comes in. The prototype's cabin was equipped with a new heating system that, even at 12 degrees C, reached an internal temperature of 2040 degrees in less than six minutes. That, in itself, would be impressive. But the real highlight is how it was done, without sacrificing range. Instead of relying on a centralized watt-hungry heating system, the Model 2 takes a more strategic approach. The new heat pump, smaller and more compact than the one used in the Model Y, works with a denser refrigerant fluid, specifically designed to maintain thermal pressure even in freezing environments. This ensures that the system operates efficiently from the start, without the infamous thermal shock that less prepared EVs experience when switched on after hours of exposure to the cold. But Tesla went further. Instead of heating the entire car immediately, the Model 2 prioritizes what really matters, the driver's body, seats, steering wheel, and even a heating strip on the windshield kick in before the heat pump even reaches its ideal temperature. This contact heating drastically reduces fuel consumption in the initial stages of the journey. And best of all, it provides almost instant comfort. After all, it's more important to warm your hands and back than the rear windows of an empty car. Tests on 43-kilometer urban routes at 8 degrees U showed how this strategy makes a difference. In the simulation with full cabin heating, the car lost 15.6 km of range. However, when only the seats and steering wheel were heated, the loss dropped to 7.4 km. The difference may seem small, but on short and repetitive journeys, such as going to work or picking up children from school, it represents almost double the efficiency. And this translates into real savings for the consumer. Another key factor is how the system knows the right time to change strategy. Internal sensors monitor whether the driver requires more heat or if surface heating is already sufficient. If the user doesn't need hot air coming out of the vents, the car doesn't even activate the main ventilation. This avoids unnecessary fuel consumption that, in other models, drains the battery without actually providing additional comfort. It's the kind of built-in intelligence that seems simple, but completely changes the relationship between the driver and the car. The system is also discreet. There's no noise from a blower working at full power, nor that dry wind sensation that some EVs exhibit. Everything works smoothly, almost imperceptibly. And for someone getting into a car at 10 degrees C, this smoothness isn't a luxury, it's a relief. There's a feeling that the car is thinking for you, understanding your body and gently adapting the heat. This creates an emotional connection with the vehicle that the spec sheet numbers don't show. Compared to rivals like the Renault 5e 
or the BYD Seagull EV, the Model 2 simply steals the show. While the others still take between 8 and 12 minutes to reach ideal thermal comfort, the Tesla is already running comfortably and with less energy consumption. This puts the Model 2 on a level where there is no longer a choice between comfort or range. Now it's possible to have both, and without paying more for it. Precisely heating the cabin was already a feat, but what Tesla has done with its battery preheating system seems like science fiction. Instead of activating the heating as soon as the car is turned on, as most electric vehicles do, the Model 2 waits for the exact moment. This is because it uses GPS navigation data to predict when the driver will reach a supercharger and then gradually raises the battery temperature. The secret? Doing this shortly before arrival, saving energy and time. It's as if the car is saying, relax, I already know what you'll need. The result of this controlled anticipation is more efficient and faster charging, even in sub-zero temperatures. During tests at Tendexeek, the Model 2 raised its battery temperature in the final minutes of the route, without wasting watts along the way. And when it reached the supercharger, it was exactly in the ideal range to receive a charge. Between 20 Fuixsecades and 20 Eightigs, nothing was done too early, nothing too late. It was a surgically precise warm-up. And this not only saves battery power, but also avoids unnecessary wear and tear on the system. The logic behind this is simple, yet powerful. In current models, many EVs begin warming up as soon as a charging destination is set. It seems clever, but in practice, this means that much of the warming happens when the car is still far away, and the battery cools down again halfway there. In other words, a pointless cycle. Tesla eliminated this error with an algorithm that knows exactly when and how much to warm up, based on arrival time, outside temperature, and driving pattern. It's the kind of fine-tuning that defines excellence. During testing, the data was impressive. After 32 minutes of driving in freezing weather, the Model 2 reached the supercharger and achieved charging rates between 118 and 126 kW, practically the maximum possible for its power pack. In comparison, competitors like the BYD Dolphin Mini, without this system, struggle to reach 45 Liuo liter viders under the same conditions, even with aggressive preheating cycles. In other words, the Model 2 does more with less and without the driver noticing the effort involved. What's most interesting is how this feature works without requiring the driver to take any action. They don't need to activate anything or adjust any technical settings. They simply need to plot a route to the supercharger. The embedded intelligence takes care of everything behind the scenes. This silent automation represents the most refined UX, user experience, in the automotive world. Because, in the end, nobody wants to think about how to warm up a battery. They just want to arrive and charge quickly. Another important detail is that this system also prevents waste on long trips. In conventional models, Continuous heating can consume too much energy during extended stretches of road. The Model 2, however, only enters active mode when truly necessary, and this makes a huge difference in the final range. This type of balance shows how Tesla is refining not only the raw technology, but also the everyday behavior of its cars. This optimization isn't limited to superchargers. According to Tesla engineers, the feature will also work with other fast chargers that are mapped in the system. The ability to adapt heating to different charging points is a bonus that expands the applicability of the function.